Love all, sir all is a message given by my guru and I follow it in my life. There is a saying that dogs bark and the elephant moves on. It is a sign of royalty and power and saintliness. Haters are everywhere and friends, lovers too are everywhere. It is up to us how we view them and sense them. It is uh, said that beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. In the similar way, haters, when we view them with an empathetic way, in that empathetic sense, we can always pity them and understand their inconveniences. Either we can convert them into friends or keep them at a distance or ignore them. It is a skill. It is a great interpersonal skill. If we go on keeping all that, whatever the haters are doing to downgrade us, we can become stressed and never be able to move on. There was one professor who did an experiment in his class and he asked the students to hold a glass full of water for a small time. The student, students were easily able to hold the glass for some time and later on he asked the same students to hold that same glass for a longer amount of time. And this time the student's hands started shaking and they were unable to hold it for a long time. Same happens with the stress the haters are giving us. So we can't hold on the stress given by the haters for a long time. So just tackle it within a short time when you sense that those people are your haters. Moreover, Haters are those thorns of a rose flower. You like the rose flower very much, but the thorns are always there. So, whenever we are holding that beautiful flower, thorns are like those protectors. And we need to learn from those thorns that we also need to be more protective of our goals. So that is why I say that whenever we have some haters, there are some things we can learn from those haters too. I don't know what the, achieve, what the haters achieve by criticizing, by talking rudely or backstabbing the people. I believe that uh, whatever is in our menu card of life, we get it in spite of any amount of obstacles we get it anyway. Only thing is that we need to put some efforts and we need to have the willpower to achieve them. Now I will tell you about three important things about how to manage those haters. First thing is befriend them. That is the best and the easier thing to do. But one shortcoming is even though if you befriend them, there is one chance that they may become frenemies. They may act like your friends, but their quality of hating may still be present within them. That is one shortcoming. But even then, you can maintain them as friends. Second thing is ignore them. Ignore them. If they are not manageable, just ignore them. Third thing is Keep a distance. Keep a distance from such haters because they will be an obstacle to whatever you are trying to achieve in your life. They may distract you too. Lastly, I would say haters are your best motivators only if you are an optimist. Once Sri Krishna was asked, whom do you love the most? Krishna had so many admirers and 
so many followers and also so many of haters and amongst all those haters was one person that is shakuni he hated krishna like anything and krishna said i love shakuni very much he is very close to my heart this surprised all his cousins and they asked him why do you love shakuni so much he said even though he hates me so much i love him the most amongst everybody because he is the one who loves his nephew so much he protects him he left his kingdom for duryodhana and he is protecting him all the way and because of all these qualities i love him very much i love the plans he makes to protect duryodhana i admire the sense of devotion and love of him towards his sister and his nephew this was an amazing answer and krishna knew that there are certain qualities which we can learn from the haters too so that that was the optimistic view of sri krishna and i really allowed that view and i try to follow that many times so this is dr rajeshwari rapata signing off until we meet again in the next video